Earlier, Li Keqiang joined a group discussion with delegates from northwest China's Gansu province who are attending the 20th CPC National Congress. Li said it's important to pursue high-quality development, unswervingly expand reform and opening up, and proceed in the direction of a socialist market economy. Li Jianshu joined a group discussion with delegates from southwest China's Sichuan province who are attending the 20th CPC National Congress. He said the great transformation over the past 10 years provides a solid material foundation and a better institutional guarantee for upholding and developing socialism with Chinese characteristics. He said the great rejuvenation of the Chinese nation has entered an irreversible historical course. Wang Yang joined a group discussion with delegates from southwest China's Tibet Autonomous Region, who are attending the 20th CPC National Congress. He urged solid efforts in economic and social development and to promote the great rejuvenation of the Chinese nation with Chinese-style modernization. He said the 10 years of the new era have been a time of fast development in Tibet, with the people benefiting the most. Wang Huning joined a group discussion with delegates from southwest China's Guizhou province who are attending the 20th CPC National Congress. He called on efforts to achieve new results in promoting high-quality development and achieving common prosperity. And Zhao Liji joined a group discussion with delegates from North China's Inner Mongolia Autonomous Region who are attending the 20th CPC National Congress. He called for maintaining and improving the party's full and strict self-governance. He said the party's self-revolution is always on its way and the party must continue to exercise strict governance in all respects. And Han Zheng joined a group discussion with delegates from South China's Hainan province who are attending the 20th CPC National Congress. Han stressed the need to unswervingly promote high-quality development. He also called on efforts to speed up infrastructure development and strengthen risk management at Hainan's free trade port as part of an effort to advance the province's reform and opening up.